My overall band score is 8.5. I scored uh, 9 bands in listening as well as in reading. Uh, I scored 8 bands in writing and I scored 7 bands in speaking. So when they hear this score, they are like, uh, how have you scored 8.5? Because generally 8.5 and 9 bands are something that is like impossible. So they were like, uh, what uh, what magic did you do exactly to get such high, uh, high bands? So uh, they are all quite shocked and I just say them that you need to have the temperament and uh, you need to be confident uh, while giving the test and uh, unless you are confident uh, then only you should uh, take your dates if you are not confident then please don't jump the bandwagon just because your friends are doing it I am very much happy as I was expecting around 7.5 to 8 bands but uh, the day I got my result I was starstruck that uh, 8.5 is something that nearly I guess very few people can achieve so I was very much shocked and very much happy completed my undergraduate uh, in uh, uh, in biochemistry with vocational biotechnology from St. Xavier's College Ahmedabad. Uh, mainly I want to do a master's uh, program in biotechnology or uh, molecular biology but as if such uh, if master's program is not available then I would like to go for a pathway program and then uh, do a master's program. Uh, specifically as the field that I am in is quite nascent right now in India and uh, I feel that there is a lot of scope in US as well as in Canada, more in USA so I am uh, more uh, uh, thinking about uh, doing a masters in USA I I'll like to say that to be patient as a self uh, said, and don't seek IELTS as just a test you, you, by giving tests you are also improving your English language as well and learning that isn't going to go anywhere it is going to be useful for, uh, for us so you need to be patient and have that temperament in you and um, uh, as I said just don't seek it as a test you you can watch various TV shows as well as I like to say that from when I uh, saw Shawshank Redemption I got to know certain new vocabularies and certain idioms as well which I, ne which I had never heard of and that kind of boosted my vocabulary and my word power as well give a holistic approach to uh, to the uh, to anything that you're uh, giving suppose if it's the IELTS as well as moving to a foreign country one should have a holistic approach to it as and the temperament uh, that one should uh, one should have while giving these tests and um, yeah if you, if uh, if people say that you have to read books and all of that 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 is quite necessary but uh, if if you you are someone who don't uh, who doesn't like reading you can always try switching to different shows as well you can also try listening audiobooks as well audiobooks are also quite helpful and uh, apart from that uh, unless you are confident uh, uh, don't give the IELTS attempt and uh, always believe in yourself uh, I would like to say that the writing module was quite tricky as uh, I felt that what coming from an I ISC background I thought that what, what more could I add to it but uh, on my first day itself when I got around 6.5 bands I was like oh, this is not where I want to be the band I want to achieve so uh, that writing I had to work a lot on my writing task uh, I would like to say that the exam experience was quite well my center was in Navsari and uh, fr uh, from, inter from enrolling myself to giving the test uh, it was quite uh, conducted quite smoothly and I would recommend if someone is giving from Walsar then you should select Nausari as your test center uh, Initially I felt that uh, I once I understand the format of the exam and uh, the material that I have I think that will be enough for me to uh, crack the exam but after seeing the pattern after uh, watching certain videos of how the IELTS is given I was a bit skeptical about my own uh, uh, mo my own capability if I would be able to crack it with uh, with uh, uh, proper bands or not so then I thought that it's better to uh, join in the classes and then give the give the test uh, it is quite well as uh, they are they tell me, they are quite frank and they are they are telling me the uh, the ground reality that that is going on around in Canada as well as in USA and uh, step by step we are moving for uh, we are moving forwards towards the towards the visa process and i'm uh, quite uh, uh, 
confident and satisfied with the options that I have been uh, provided with. I guess the first speaking session that I had where I uh, in the end where I had to speak in front of the whole class that was something that uh, I'll remember and cherish it because as such I have never spoken in front of a lot of people and th that was something uh, that was my first day when I spoke in front of a lot of uh, lot of people so that is something that I'll never forget um, it is quite unconventional and uh, the fact that uh, you don't feel like that you uh, i don't feel like the uh, i don't feel that felt that utkarsh was te teaching me at that point of time because it was english language and it felt quite free flowing so it felt all it always felt like we were having a conversation uh, through a fellow classmate of mine she recommended me uh, dishita patel who uh, also attempted ielts uh in back in june i guess has uh, uh, suggested me suggested me for the decent classes and also a family friend of mine suggested uh, uh suggested me for the classes uh currently i am uh, uh, i am learning about the lifestyle that is there in these foreign countries and the various kind of things that we are we we in india are never introduced to so i'm trying to learn different uh, things such as the using of how do you use a dishwasher what what is it then uh, the transit things that the buses and the metros that are there so i'm getting to uh, so before going that i'm trying to get a background regarding it